Okay, okay. sing over the. I know that's yeah. my favorite part. Your I'm sure it's like hard. Is singing over the, the song. The worst. Yeah. Why would um, I do that? So. We have, uh, you really like the stuff. I really like the stuff. This is the wire bundles that we got. Oh man, I love Can we just do this, like, wires you know? and boxes. Check this shit out. Yeah. Okay, so we got, <laughs> we had before box just the mini, the just the one box. But here's the thing about the other, the other actually, you know what, I'm gonna grab it. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just gonna show these photos. Just over here, just put this thing. I'm bringing this whole one. Okay, so here's what we had before. Do you want to do the other end? Yeah, go to the other end. So yeah, we've had this for a while. So this is from Electronic Express. And this is kind of cool. And this is the box. And here's the issue, though. They use these large spools. And so this was a little bit wider. And, like, the spools, actually, this is, like, what they look like almost full. So the spools are, um, they're just bigger than they need to be. And so this was the original box. And this was cool. But I, we wanted to have, um, well, one thing, we wanted to have a set of 10 in the box. And so what we did is um, we contacted the factory that makes our wire spools and said, hey, could you put these in a box for us? And like, we'll design the box and everything, and they did. And so instead of just having six wires, which is okay, six is fine, but you know what's better than six? 10, yeah. because 10 is always better than six yeah. for yeah. almost every purpose, almost everything. Yeah. And so you get red, orange, yellow, green, all, all colors, the standard electronic colors. They've got the little punch outs, and um, the, the way we can fit this many is they're just, uh, the spools are just, they're skinnier, but they're wound more. So it's the same size as the other box, but you get more spools. It's a little bit more expensive because, you know, you have to pay for the spools. They're still like a, you know, two, 250 each or whatever. It says Adafruit on it, so it's lovely. So we've got two versions of this. This is the um, solid core, and this is stranded. So um, this one is a little bit more flexible but it's the same idea, you know, you, you feed the wires out and then you can put this on your desk, but this is the stranded core, you can tell because it's floppy. And this is the solid core. So we've got um, 10 set of solid core and stranded. And then we also have, um, now we have a smaller, for the six wires, it's cuter and smaller, and this is um, a six set of stranded and solid. So you can get six or 10. I think six is good for most. But like, honestly, at home, I got the 10. I just love having multiple colors, especially when I do diagrams and tutorials, because I want to say like the SPI clock pin is orange and the I squared C data pin is green. And so like having yeah. all those colors is like, really helpful. I like this because it's like a rain, it's like Adafruit with a rainbow come it's outside. Yeah. It's really nice. And um, you know, you're probably like, okay, but everyone just uses the black and red wires the most. What do I do? But we stock the in, all the spools individually. So when you're done, you just remove this and you just slide get a, get it out a and you just refill, you know, you just take out the white, put in this one and you can, cause you're always going to use black and red the most. Um, and then you can just swap them out. That's what I do. So you can get a refill later, but this is like my favorite thing in the world. I love these wire spool boxes. This is a great invention. Okay. Perfect. And it's like so easy to carry. You put it down and then you just yank as necessary. Yep. Great. All right. Next up. Okay. This is also an excellent tool. We had some great, it's an epic week here. This is a great tool. Okay, so this is stick vise. I actually got mine from Hackaday, but then we talked to the person who makes them, and he's like, yeah, I would love for you to carry these as well. Um, and so we do. And I think this was also a Kickstarter, maybe? I don't remember. I don't know either. Okay, so here's how it works. Um, it's not like a pan of ice because it sits flat, but you loosen this uh, wing nut, and then you can slide this around. So like you're like, oh, I have to repair my Arduino NG. And there's this little notch. There's a little groove here you can kind of see that you fit the circuit board into, and it's like perfect for PCBs, but it only has, the notch is so slim that you, you don't have to worry about it like crushing edge components. And then you line it up. Okay, and then, and then you get it, so it's like, it's in the, the two grooves. And then you squeeze this part, and then you tighten it. And then what happened is that squeezing causes this to, to spring close, like this is holding it nice and uh, tight. And so it holds it very strongly and it's very flat. And because it's low to the ground, it's only like a centimeter above the ground. You don't have the like tilting and tipping of a pan of ice. Like a pan of ice is, is great for like, you know, different angles and stuff. But if you just want to solder on something or you want to rework something, this is nice and flat. Another thing is, you know, as you can see, I've got this overhead. 
So it's just great for overhead work. And when we were doing, uh, we did some desk of ladiators where I did some rework with um, soldering. And I was soldering a circuit playground. Way easier to have a microscope because we had our, our uh, um, like 100 time or 50 time microscope to really show the QFNs as yeah. I did them. You know, the focal distance is this far. You yeah, can't that was have, the HDMI scope though. Yeah, so yeah, you have to have fine. it be stable. It has to be, you can't move up and down. Like the, the focal distance is so small. It's perfect for that too. But this is just, it's a very nice, simple tool. Very straightforward. And then it also comes with, uh, it comes with these standard, um, I don't know, polyethylene. No, I don't remember what yeah. they are. It, it, it's, it's a simple plastic jaws and they're fine. But if you want to do a lot of, um, hot air work especially, you might want to get the uh, PTFE, the, the Teflon jaws, which are going to be much better at high temperature work and you won't have to worry about um, accidentally melting them. And they're all milled. It's kind of beautiful milled plastic. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a very rare Arduino. So the other one that Lady Ada put in there was a, one of the first Arduinos. That's the NG. Um, and then this is a, a very rare this limited is like edition Christmas. one. Christmas. Yeah, and then uh, here's like the first Arduino. So starting my Arduino museum. And then this is the first Arduino made in the, the USA for Arduino.cc that Mossimo and Morse line. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the only thing is it's not gonna be, I mean, you can kind of um, do this if you wanna do, you know, rework from the side, but it's not great at it. This is, this is a little bit loose. So I would suggest it only for flat, but like, you know, when you're, when you're not doing it, like this is, you know, if I have to rework on a board like this, like sometimes I, I want to yank on something while I uh, heat it from the bottom, like a through hole <coughs> part. That's not what this seems to be as good at. For that, maybe a pan of ice would be better. This is great for okay. like flat. All right. And then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady, is this redesigned, re-released data logger? This is the new data logger shield. So um, this was a long time coming and we just had to wait till we sold out of the previous version. Um, this new version uses um, ICSP. So it is compatible with every Arduino. We, I tried it with a Dewey, I tried it with a Mega, Leonardo, Zero. This works. It works with all of them because it uses the standard SPI pins. We also updated the... Um, I don't, yeah. but you know the image is... is the photo is really good, The yeah. photo is much That's better. That's fine. Um, the... Um, the RTC also got updated. So the old, the old RTC was a DS1307. Uh, DS1307, classic Maxim, real-time clock. Uh, it's lovely, but it has a couple things that annoy me. One, it really only wants to run off a of five volt power, which I don't really like so much. And um, second, it, it's a little flaky if you don't have a coin battery inserted. And it's expensive. It's a pricey real-time clock. It's an older one. It has an EEPROM, but almost nobody uses it or has like a non-volatile RAM or something, but I've, I've rarely seen anyone use it. So we changed over to the PCF8523, which is what the same real-time clock that we use on um, the feather wing. So we actually tried that out first to make sure like we had no issues. The feather wing was a success, so now we kind of backported that to this data logger. So that allowed us to drop the price actually $5 because we didn't have the expense of- It's new and better and it's- it's way less expensive. Whoa. Yeah, because we don't have to pay for the DS1307. The PCF2583 is way cheaper, runs on three volts, five volts. It's it's a perfectly fine real-time clock other than that. And um, in our board meeting, how did the board members allow you to lower prices? We don't know. Right? We don't have a board, yeah, that's, that's right. me. It's just okay, me. so when, when it's possible to lower prices, you do? You just do. Absolutely, of okay. course. I mean, it, it, I have to make sure it's the right part. And, um, you know, I updated the tutorial. Um, so that's one of the guides that was updated is I updated yeah. to make it clear, you know, which ones you have, you'll have to change your code a little bit, but you know, I think it's worth it for the price, price update. So yeah, so now compatible with all Arduinos, ICSP, different real time clock, yeah. better pricing. Okay. Everyone's happy. All right. And with that, except for Maxim. Sorry, Maxim. <laughs> well, that happens. Okay. They can do, they can lower their prices. Okay. With that, that's a uh, new products. <laughs>